So, so you're the boxing guy in Australia now, eh? That's cool, man. I watch all the whether it be the American guys or the UK guys, it's, yeah, yeah. it's, a, it's a big business, so good on you, man. Yeah. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, excited. Uh, the hard work's been done now. And now uh, it's almost, it's tough and difficult this week and for different reasons because, you know, the anxiety and just, you know, you just want to get in there and get it done. So I'm uh, looking forward to it. A lot of talk about Mark Hunt's power and how he possesses a fighter. Yep. How do you approach a fight when a, when a fighter's got a lot of power and what advice have you been given you know, for me, I'm always a work in progress. Uh, so, you know, I've, got, uh, I've been asked this question a lot. You know, what have you been doing to deal with the power? Uh, I've just been trying to improve as a boxer in all facets, uh, attack and defense. So, um, obviously, you don't want to get clipped by one of those bombs that he possesses because in the, in the boxing game, they say um, power is the last thing you lose. Uh, so, um, God willing, that, that doesn't happen on the weekend. And, uh, I'm able to assert myself in the ring. Have you found preparation as a boxer? Obviously, you had the Mary Hall fight, and fight. How's the preparation been compared to rugby? It's cool, man. It's cool. Uh, I've been doing this for two years now. Uh, never in my wildest dreams that I think you know, I would be boxing uh, and fighting a guy like Mark Hunt and having someone, um, someone, you know, as special as David Tour involved with the, with the whole thing as well, so it's cool, um, it's exciting. Uh, but I've been able to uh, lean on my experience, experiences that I've had in the last 20 years with footy, and take the gems out of that and implement it into, my, into you know, the, the, the boxing preparation. I took a lot out of um, the preparation, the good things that I've done, but also the bad things that I've done in preparation for the Barry Hall fight, and I, you know, and I put it in play in this camp, and it's been a great camp. Uh, I've improved a lot, so I'm just uh, looking forward to hopefully, inshallah, going out there on Saturday night and showcasing. What's the main motivation for you? Is it uh, legacy? Is it, uh, what drives you? Probably not so much legacy, it's more like just challenging myself. And, and, uh, Scratching that itch, you're a long time retired. I've uh, like done footy for so long. Uh, I came a bit of monotonous at times towards the end of my career. And, um, I think there was a time there when I was probably a, after the second World Cup we won. In 2015, um, I sat down with my manager and I was like, should I get boxing? And that was when I was 30. So there was a chance that I was going to go there. But uh, All Blacks offered a massive deal that I couldn't say no to, so now I'm just kind of just scratching that itch, I guess. Uh, and, um, you know, who knows? But God willing, it doesn't happen, but it could be my last fight this weekend, you know, I'm not too sure. But as long as I'm putting myself in situations where it's a little bit uncomfortable, uh, just like being working on TV, uh, as long as I'm doing that, I know that I'll get improvement. As a, as a person, I'll get growth as a person, and, and that's what I want my kids to look up to. Okay, he might not have been the best at that, but he gave it a shot and, and he put himself out there. So, um, yeah, that's. Sorry, bro, I forgot the question, but yeah, I was rambling on and we got there again. How do you um, how do you think this fight will play out? I win by any means. I win by any means. So, uh, it'll be a bit of a feeling in our process. And, uh, hopefully, I can wear it down. Uh, and hopefully, you know, the, the shots that I do take, I'll be able to take take well and still apply some pressure. Who will be in the, in the corner this fight? Had Andy Lee last fight? Yeah, I'm missing Andy Lee uh, and his experience and his knowledge. Uh, shout out to Andy Lee. Uh, we have obviously Tony Mundine and you know, Brother Muhammad from Brotherhood Boxing Gym and, and, and uh, Greenacre. Uh, Terry. Um, from out west, maybe a, then we've got Chop, there's always a, there's always a few guys, but um, I'm a novice in this space, so I'm always learning whatever I can learn, whatever uh, benefit I can get off someone, I'm always keen on it. There's some good undercard fighters as well. Yeah, Isaac Meehan, Willis, Willis's brother, looking forward to seeing him get out there and do his thing, he's looking good as we saw today, but then uh, the big one to be the Pango Junior. You've seen his footwork, you've seen his power, uh, he's lost 10 to 15 kilos. And he's just looking good, you know, so I'm really happy for him. Not only to put up a good performance um, tonight uh, on Saturday, but a springboard. It's a springboard for him to have a great 2023 season for the doggies. Good luck, son. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man.